Hello everyone, so today we're going to talk about how to fix this issue of loading and compiling shaders for Apex Legends Season 10 Emergence. For some reason it just keeps happening again and again every time I open Apex Legends. Well, first of all I thought that maybe it is just a one-time thing, but yep, it just kept happening again and again and it's it's just not not going to work like that. <laughs> so I'm, I'm going here, I'm going to show here how to fix this issue. So, well, yeah, let's just start. So the first step will be to actually turn off shader cache and to do that first, uh, well, if you have NVIDIA or NVIDIA, I don't know how to pronounce that, um, you will have to open is NVIDIA control panel and then for AMD, I think it will be AMD control panel. So what we are going to do is we will turn off the shader cache option uh, in the control panel. So try to open it up. Okay, once you're in the NVIDIA control panel, then go over on your left side and see this option called Manage 3D Settings. So click on there. And after that, look for the Shader Cache option, which will be this. And now you can see it's on, so turn it off. And after it is off, you have to apply it. It will take some moment to well load the stuff and all so do uh, do sure wait a while before the apply button actually appears and all because sometimes it just takes time to apply because it's a i don't know maybe it's a heavy process but yeah it, my my computer took their sweet time to actually load the well say the cache and all tur to turn them off so yeah do give it some time it will happen just be patient okay now that it is off to, uh, well close this window and after that now go to your this pc or your main computer icon you know my computer icon and then right click over your local dc or the main drive where your windows is installed and then go over to properties and then click on this cleanup so after you click on this cleanup this window will pop up and then you have to delete the direct x setter cache so make sure that you tick mark that and uh, well you can also tick mark the temporary internet files but not the downloaded program files and the thumbnails so yeah, after you made sure that the direct accelerator cache has been clicked, click on OK over here down and then it will say this, um, well, uh, confirmation and click on delete files. So after that, the shader cache has been now emptied or well, so to say refreshed, or well, emptied. <laughs> so after that, click on OK and after that now you have to again turn on the um, uh, shader cache option in NVIDIA control panel. That's the third step. So let's go over that and well, turn it back on. Okay, after you have made sure that it is turned on now, over here you can see it's on. Uh, now close your NVIDIA control panel. So the fourth step will be to actually restart your PC. So I will let you guys do that. I will also restart my PC now. Now that I have restarted my PC, now what you want to do is open your NVIDIA GeForce Experience over here, NVIDIA GeForce Experience. But if you have not uh, NVIDIA GeForce Experience installed, then go over to Google Chrome and then just Google search, download NVIDIA GeForce Experience, and then click on download GeForce Experience NVIDIA over here and then now click on download now and install it and after installation you have to I think make an account. So just go ahead and make an account with your Gmail and after that. Uh, open the thing and then you can see over here it will say drivers so click on the drivers and make sure you have installed the latest drivers but upon the installation uh, this window will pop up sorry uh, this bar will pop up so it will say express installation or custom installation now you click on custom installation and after that you have to just make sure that you actually in install it a complete um, clean installation you can do a complete clean installation with this method So this window will pop up after that and then well make sure all of these are ticked and then over here you will see this is saying perform a clean installation so just tick mark that what is it what it will do is uh, turn all of the NVIDIA settings to its default value and moves any profiles that we have previously created which might have been causing that issue so now well that is if you had GeForce experience previously installed but anyways just make it but make sure that you're performing a clean install so that click install and now for the AMD you might also have to do a clean installation for your from your AMD well app, app control panel I think so probably you can download the drivers from there so I don't really know much about the AMD but now test it out in Apex Legends uh, but yeah first first at the first now since we have reinstalled all of the drivers and all so it will actually perform the uh, loading and um, compiling shaders thingy it, it will actually perform that once and after that it will not perform it anymore 
So after that, I opened the Apex Legends, and now the comp loading and compiling shaders thingy. It will just happen just once for the first time, and then after that, it should not happen again. Or well, who knows? Maybe it might not happen happen even once. Let's see. <laughs> but yeah, uh, it should not happen. It should not keep happening again and again. Uh, we have refreshed the shader cast and also performed the clean installation of drivers, and well, that should help it. That should probably fix the issue. All right. Well, if you have any questions uh, regarding anything, you can ask in the comment section below. I will try my best to also provide the information for AMD, for AMD app. Uh, I hope it helps out because I don't really have an AMD graphics card. Plus, I don't have any, uh, well, knowledge of AMD, how the AMD app actually functions or looks. So, but still, I'll pr pr try to try my best to actually give some information about it for the AMD graphics card. Anyways, this should happen only like once for the first time as we have refreshed, uh, well, the you know the driver settings and all so that's why it will happen once so don't worry about that after that it should not happen any anymore all right hopefully this uh, video helped you guys uh, i will see you guys in the next one then until next time